Hi, dear friends and cultural creatives. Welcome to this new format of my newsletter. I'm really not much of a typist. I use these two fingers. It takes a long time, but I found the mouth works a lot faster. So I thought, how about if I try this video newsletter and see if I can get some very interesting information to you at this very important time. As you know, I've been talking about the evolution and the evolution is imminent. And you can feel it now in the world with the crises that we're facing, especially the debt crisis, which is manifesting all around the world at this very moment. Why is this relevant? Because there's a biological awareness and important understanding for self-awareness and self-teaching that comes out of the world's financial crisis. Very simply this, money is the equivalent of energy. So you can buy energy with your cash. And the significance about that is if you're frugal and take care of your money and keep a balance, then you always have this energy in your bank account, energy in which you can live. However, obviously, if you waste this energy, then you actually interfere with your own survival. So you don't really want to go out and just throw away your money. And so basically, I really want to show you that this is an important insight into the nature of our own health and our biology and the world we create in this regard, that our biological system, the cells rely on energy. Without energy, there's no life. So fundamentally, you have an energy budget that gives you life. And in fact, in the body, energy is in coins called ATP, molecules that represent units of energy. So in fact, biologists refer to ATP as the coin of the realm. The significance of ATP is this, is that ATP molecules are like units of gasoline, like gallon of gas, that are used to fuel our biological processes. So to stay alive, we have to have all this ATP. So there's an ATP account in your body right now. But the question is, how do you use this ATP? And now here's an important fact, that 25% of the total energy in your whole body is used to operate your brain. So all of a sudden you start to recognize that the brain uses energy at the rate of muscles of a marathon runner. So a brain and muscle activity are pretty much the same. And so why is this important? Because as you're using your brain, as you're using your thinking, you are actually using energy. Now, why is this relevant? The answer is very simply this, because the way we've been using our thoughts are not necessarily productive. As a matter of fact, sometimes our investments of our thoughts are actually counterproductive because our thoughts create a reality that we then have to overcome. So basically it says that we must start to become aware of our thoughts. And why is this important? Because thoughts represent units of energy. Every time you have a thought, you use energy. Why this becomes relevant is, if I give you a checkbook for your bank account, you don't go down the street and just write checks to people like, oh, hey, you're a nice looking guy. Here's 10 bucks for you. And oh, here, little girl, go out and buy yourself a little car. Here's a thousand dollars for you. And you don't give away your money. Why? Because giving away your money is giving away your life. So basically you become very frugal when you have a checkbook in your hand. Now what I'm trying to tell you is this. You have an energy budget in your body. The energy is what keeps you alive. When you start using energy and writing checks where you get no return from your energy, then it's exactly the same as writing checks out of your bank checkbook and giving away your cash. So why this becomes important is the biology of belief reveals how our thoughts create our reality. And if you start investing in thoughts, that are counterproductive, thoughts like fear, or what am I gonna do, and how am I gonna escape this problem, or how's this gonna go wrong, and all these other kinds of thoughts that are negative kinds of thoughts, then realize this, you are actually not just using your energy for having these thoughts, but these thoughts are also what come into your reality. What you focus on with your thoughts, your brain will manifest as reality. A wonderful quote from Bhagavan Das, I really love this one, he says, worry, is a form of praying for what you don't want. Think about that. When you worry, you keep on your mind objects that get you nervous and, and scare you. And the more you keep them in your mind, the more the mind converts that into reality. So what's the message for this month? It's to become energetically frugal with your money in your body. And that is this, your thoughts use energy. Your interactions with life use energy. So if you want to survive, then realize one simple fact, and that is this. Everything you do in your life, you put out energy for. 
Therefore, start to review what you're doing in your life. Because if you're putting your energy into things you cannot change in this world, that is exactly the same as writing a check and just throwing away your money to the outside because you get nothing back from it. So think about this very interesting reality that you have this energy checkbook. And every time you use energy, you have to say, is the use of this energy going to enhance my life or is it just wasted energy? Am I getting involved in a, in a political argument with people where I'm going to use up all my energy and will I have changed the world? No. Am I going to use up all my energy to try to convince other people to change their life or change their way of living to make them even healthier and they're not ready to do that? I'd be wasting my energy. So here's an interesting thought. If I gave you an energy checkbook and asked you to write a check every time you had to have a thought, you would have to then ask yourself is, is this thought going to enhance my life or is this thought going to take away from my life? And then when you start to realize that, you start to direct your actions where you put your energy into things that enhance your life and give you an opportunity to survive and to go beyond survival and really into thriving. So the point is this, we are facing some rough times. The more thoughts you put into the negative aspect, the more thoughts you put into the fear, uh, not only are you just wasting your energy, but as in the biology belief, these negative thoughts, these negative stresses actually impair your immune system and bring on disease itself. So for this month, think about it this way. You're living on a budget and that budget is actually what represents our life. And if you're gonna use your budget wisely, put your thoughts, put your energy, put your money behind those things that enhance your personal life and enhance the community that you live in and support the evolution that we're going into rather than wasting your energy fighting the old system that's falling apart. This is your opportunity to get out of that system and build something more sustainable, something we could all live on, something that we can all thrive on. And I look forward to all of you seeing that each one of us is participating in this evolution. And I really hope that you can understand that my wishes are for you is to conserve your energy to create beautiful rather than worry and manifest the other. Thanks for listening to this message and I surely hope you have a wonderful month and I look forward to talking to you soon because this evolution is imminent.